Bugatti has released a teaser of their V16 engine, including audio. It certainly sounds naturally aspirated. Matta Rimats posted images of a V16 engine on his Instagram account of a 90 degrees bank angle V16 cylinder block and crankcase. Rumors are that the engine is being built and developed by Cosworth. To further strengthen this claim, amongst those images are of 16 pistons. Each piston looks to have low friction coatings on them that are green in color. This is something Cosworth are known to use and it's called PTFE Xylan coating, another form of Teflon. If this V16 engine is indeed developed by Cosworth, then it is definitely their first. Bold move to take up such a high-profile challenge like this being that it is for a Bugatti. So why a V16 engine? It is a reflection of Bugatti legacy and their inline eight-cylinder engine configuration that they are known for. Each bank of eight cylinders would be a representation of that Bugatti profiling. It first appeared on the Bugatti Type 28 prototype in 1921. Typically, a V16 engine is like having two V8 engines. Simply put, a V8 engine's 90 degrees firing order times two then split into two 45 degrees firing order on a 16-cylinder engine. It could have a 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 135 degrees V-bank angle with even firing order that shares the same crank pin. Cosworth is building a 6.6-liter 65 degrees V12 engine for Bitsarini that may be a toned-down and stroked version of the Aston Martin Valkyrie's 6.5-liter engine. Maybe this V16 engine's per-cylinder specification could bear similarities to this because rumors are that it's an engine that is more than 8 liters. Maybe it is simply an 8-liter V16 engine producing a 1,000 horsepower. It's interesting that in the audio presented by Bugatti, it seemed that this version of a Cosworth-developed engine for supercars or hypercars, this certainly has a different cam drive approach because it is inaudible compared to the Valkyrie and T50. It does not have that whining sound. This Bugatti's V16's crankshaft has its crank pin split 90 degrees for one part of cross-plane crank V8, and then the other set mirrors this and then split 45 degrees between the two parts. This 45 degree split is to get one firing order per two top dead center position of the crankshaft for that 90 degrees V configuration. The hybrid system most likely is similar to what is on the Lamborghini Revuelto, a mid-rear engine four-wheel driver supercar that is powered by a large internal combustion engine and electric hybrid. Rimats has their performance cars run one electric motor to each wheel which is also what is on the front drive of the Revuelto, so there is no surprise that maybe the front drive of this new Bugatti is driven by two electric motors, one for each front wheel. The V16 engine would be driving the rear wheels through an 8-speed twin-clutch gearbox. The rear drive system most likely will get an electric motor for rear axle regeneration and to assist low-end torque rear drive. So if it's using all these technologies, then typically as seen on electric drive, there is going to be a whole host of variables in axle controls. Your control, torque split, and traction control will be expected. The audio sound also hints at gear shifting, so any suspicion of having the engine mechanically detached from the main drive is not going to be the case when the engine is being used as drive. High torque electric drive can compensate for high revving naturally aspirated engines lack of power in the low rev range, and this may be their approach so they could tune the engine for more top end power to get even more power in total. Curious how the electric rear drive layout will be. Will it be like on the Revuelto where the motor would be geared to the gearbox or will it be influenced by Cosworth and get an electric generator unit mounted on one end of the engine like on the Gordon Murray T50?